What's up guys? I finally got my truck cleaned up after a gnarly trip to the Olympic National Forest. We did a lot of mudding. We got the truck kind of mostly clean. It's actually never really clean after a trip like that. But I'm going to be doing a little bit of a product review today. Uh, I got a package from a company called Proclips. Before I get too far into this, I want to make one thing abundantly clear and that is that I'm doing these reviews. Who's honking? I'm doing these reviews for you guys. I want to make sure that I'm as transparent and honest as possible. Let that just be a warning to any companies who will want to send me something that I am going to be honest. That being said, I think it says a lot that a company would send me this and ask me to give an honest opinion. They ask me to make sure that I tell you guys that this was free and that this was in exchange for an honest review. So let's open this thing up and find out what we're looking at. We have some products. This looks like the main phone mount. This is a large clip, looks like. And that's awesome, they threw in a, they threw in a t-shirt. Here's the company name, Pro Clip. And they've included this uh, large clip, and this is specifically designed for the Toyota Tacoma. And on the back here, it says that it is neat and discreet design, keeps device safely at hand, keeps the device upright for better reception, made of high-grade ABS plastic, custom fit to the device for a secured hold, no dismantling of your dashboard. And to me, that's... That's important. I like that. And I think it's important to note that these are made in Sweden, not China or Taiwan. This is like a universal piece for the Toyota Tacomas, the third gen Toyota Tacomas. And then after that, you get this other piece, which is more or less designed for your specific phone for device thickness from 3 to 10 millimeter and width from 62 to 77 millimeter. So whether that's uh, Samsung S8, Samsung S9, S7 will probably work. iPhones, I don't really know when you get into that. If you have a Galaxy Tab 2, it might be totally different. So you want to make sure that you go on their website, enter in what device you have. Um, because I'm sure they make, and they do in fact make, uh, these type of clips for iPads and other things if you're trying to do like a navigation setup. This clamp here, this is definitely like a heavy duty plastic. This isn't like... Um, like something you'd buy at the kiosk at a mall type thing. This is uh, this is the real deal here. It looks like it's pretty adjustable. It's pretty stiff. Not sure if there's a way to loosen that. I'm gonna start by removing the backing here. Pulling these off, you wanna make sure that your dash is nice and clean, free of dust. All right, next step is to take this tool, which is called the gap opener. Place our gap opener underneath your dashboard trim here and sort of pry back. And it should just pop that out a little tiny bit. You don't need to take the whole thing off, it's just gonna sort of pop it out. And then, you're gonna hook the top edge. It's gonna be the front layer there, not this back layer, but the, kind of like this front layer, just like that. You're gonna stretch it open a little bit, and boom, clip it on. Now we should be able to just push our dashboard trim back into place and we haven't permanently altered or damaged anything. I'm going to take a small Phillips tip screwdriver and you're going to take the holder and what you do, and we're going to back these out a little bit. When I first looked at this thing I was like, wow, that does not look like it's going to fit my phone. And these aren't like springy or elastic. Basically you have to adjust them to your phone. And I think that's probably a good thing because in like an off-road scenario, those little springy ones never seem to hold up. Lightly loosened these screws in the middle here. And we're gonna slide the holder arms out. And my phone's fairly wide. It's got a case on it. So I think at its widest point is where it wants to be. Here, I'm gonna tighten these down. Now the instructions say to take your screwdriver and put it into the center hole and start to loosen the screw that's on the inside. Light force. Ugh. Felt like quite a bit of force. Okay, that is loose. And here's our swivel base plate. I was just about to message the owner and say like, hey, I don't want to lead people astray. How come this doesn't fit? You know, am I supposed to get a drill out? Because I was just picturing this going this way because that's the way your phone's going to go. But guys, this 
turn sideways like that. And those holes should line up either up here or down here. So they give you a choice. So right now I'm just trying to decide if I like the up high version or the down low. And I think I like it better down low. It just looks more natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and tap these screws in. last step is to try to line this thing right up and screw this back in. And I think there's kind of a certain tightness that you get to where it suddenly isn't really going to move again. Yeah, just like that. Let's see. Okay. So earlier I was kind of complaining about how it was difficult to rotate it left or right. And it's a pretty simple fix. It's just a matter of loosening that screw. And then you can not turn it left or right. It's tough though, but you know what that says? Is it's a good thing that it's not gonna be flopping around while you're off-roading. Pop these in. Or if I should slide it down. Oh yeah, that's way easier. Your initial habit would be to like, I don't know, for me, is to push it in like this and pop it over. But it actually is easier if you slide it down in. It almost seats better, just like that. I don't even think you'd want to slide it further down. I think you just want it right at this, right like that. I guess I imagined it being down like this, so it was centered with the dash, you know? That just looks better, but it's not as firm of a mount as if you have the phone just sitting in the bottom like this. There you have it guys, pretty quick, simple, easy install for the most part. You have to get a screwdriver out. Uh, is it too extensive for a phone holding device? Not really, I mean, it's not really a big deal to me. It might be to some people, but what I think that you get out of this is a really, really firm mount that looks professional looks nice. I think it does have a pretty good application in the off-road community because it's such a firm mount. I mean it is like clipped in, screwed on, and it's firm, it's tight. I think the downside is you have to dedicate that spot to that phone. I can't just switch out my phone and put my wife's phone in if she has a different phone. Luckily my wife and I have the same phone with the same case so it's totally universal between the two of us. But had she had some big note or something like that, like a Galaxy Note, I couldn't drop it in the mount because it doesn't have like a spring uh, adjustment or anything like that. I would have to bust out a screwdriver to put a different phone in. And I think my honest opinion of that is that that's kind of lame. It would be nice to be able to put whatever you wanted into that. But like I said, what you get from that is like a, f a firm hold of the phone that's not going to pop off while off-roading. And uh, to me, that's important. Uh, you have to decide what's important to you when it comes to mounting your phone. I don't think these sticky tabs are per as permanent as some of like the double-sided 3M tapes. I think they just kind of keep it on there, keep it from sliding back and forth, but you're not like disfiguring your dashboard uh, by putting those things on there. So I moved mine over a little bit, um, which does block this vent a little bit more. Less important to me as kind of seeing my navigation system. And then here's my phone. I'm just gonna slide it in. And I think it's important that you can just slide it in one-handed, and then it's, you know, it's solid. It's all about getting a good adjustment on these screws here of where you want it. Put your phone up, slide it right in, pull it out. You know, for as firm as this thing holds the phone, I've had ones that are harder to get things in and out. Now on to the important question, would I suggest this to you guys? And my answer is yes. If you are looking for a sturdy mount for your phone, I think this is a super cool innovative option and it's not one of those like cheapy mall kiosk phone mounts. I think a mount like this has a lot of applications in the overlanding community. Uh, we oftentimes will use our phones when we are way off grid and there is no service for our GPS. We'll be using apps like the HEMA app or um, the iOverlander app. Those kind of apps are super helpful and it's nice to have them right up there in front of you instead of like down like in your cup holder, bouncing around while you're off-roading. At the end of the day, I'm super excited about this product. I think it's awesome, it looks great, it looks cool to have my phone there. 
Uh, overall, really excited. Install was fairly easy, pretty straightforward, and the mount feels solid. I mean, I'm sitting here tugging on this thing, and it's on there. Like, it's really, really on there. Um, does it let me down in any areas? Not really. I can't think of anything that I would say is a negative or a big strong negative to this product. Um, aside from the fact that it's not universal. You can't drop a different phone in if you wanted to. So that is the only, my only qualm, I guess, that's my only concern is the uh, flexibility, I guess, of this particular mount. You might get lucky and you might have, like me, your wife's phone is gonna fit in there without adjusting it, but maybe not, more than likely not. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick and easy product review. My name is Max Powell. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to stick around for more videos like this and also check out my adventure videos, hit the subscribe button and also click the notification icon so that you get notified every time I post. I upload weekends and Wednesdays. After every product review or mail time, I come out here and I stick your guys' stickers that you send me on either my cooler or my recovery box so that I can continue repping your brand everywhere I go. <laughs> she just looks ridiculous. She looks like a drawing from Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Are you a fierce lion? Look at you. <laughs> Look at her little paws. Oh, you look so weird. Look at your lion tail.